Hey out there, good people. Thanks for joining me for the first up. Finally here, Powered Up Sims Challenge. We are going to enjoy getting to know the characters from the women's empowerment books that I write for my publishing company, Gig Power. Let's look at the rules real quick just to find out what it is we're going to be doing each episode. One, each of the leading characters has to achieve an aspiration. They're going to focus on the career aspiration, if that career is native to The Sims 4. And for non-Sims careers, they're going to focus on building up and building out their trait-based aspirations. When it's an aspiration-related gameplay, there will be no cheats. Now listen, I cheat y'all. I don't cheat in life. I don't cheat on my taxes. I don't cheat on men. However, I'm going to cheat these sins. Ain't nobody struggling. Ain't nobody struggling in this game, okay? We here for a good time, not a hard time, all right? Number two, they must do an activity that increases fitness, whether it's dancing, jogging, treadmill, boxing. They can do those workout videos at the house. They can go hiking. They can go mountain climbing, rocky wall climbing. They can do that little army training combat machine. They can go swimming. They can go bicycling, basketball, soccer. What else we got? Oh, we got cheerleading. Listen, they can get it in where they fit it in. But honey, they got to do something. They got to move them behinds, okay? Whether it's flat, whether it's plump, whether it's somewhere in the middle with the rump, whatever it is. These characters have got to move and groove at least once during the episode at some point. When you have a good group of girlfriends or just that one girlfriend, or even if you are your own best friend, because some of us introverts aren't really there for all of those shenanigans, you got to take a girl's trip. So each time, each season, they must take at least one girl's trip with their good friend circle. Um, that's until they visited every world available in The Sims 4. And right now, that includes, I have all of the worlds with the exception of the occult worlds. I don't have vampires and I don't have werewolves. But they're going to hit up all these worlds outside of those two. So when one of their girlfriends invites them out, unless they have to go to work, they have to go. Even if they have to take their children with them. Some of the Sims have kids, some of them don't because everybody's different. So married Sims have to go on at least two dates per season. If you're not feeding love into the love, baby, the love will die, okay? Now listen, I got wicked wins in this game, so you might see them get a little spicy for the rhymesy. We gonna keep it YouTube appropriate, but this is definitely not an LP for the babies or the children, okay? Sims who are married with kids have to do at least one bonding event with each child alone, all the children and the entire family. And that just means, you know, six and seven go together for the rules. You can find the rules on my website. I'll try to remember to put it, um, edit, I'll tell editing Shanita to put it on the screen. Um, and then there'll definitely be a link in the description. But you want to take and spend time with each kid, whether you have twins, triplets, octuplets oh mm, bless you but you want to spend time with each child each child is different and they need something different so if the sim has children each child will have to have time alone with the mom sims married with kids have to do that with each child and then they have to do like a group event and then if they're still married they have to go out with the whole family each season okay Single Sims can choose to go on one date per season until they complete an aspiration. Because if you haven't achieved your goals and you out here in these streets, you're going to get distracted. That pixel thirst is real. You out here looking at him. He looking at you. You winking. He blinking. Ain't nobody got time for all that. And again, the wicked and the whims is in the game. So if you want to be grown in the game, you need to be handling grown person business up on this here channel. Awesome. Once... A sim who is single has completed at least one of their aspirations, then they can get married. Once they complete a second aspiration, they can have kids. Now, am I doing this because I was one of the simmers who wasn't complaining about the babies being objects? Maybe. Am I doing this because kids are hecka hard to take care of in this game? Absolutely. 
people do. I think they're adorable and want to still play out the lives of the characters from my books who had babies or adopted babies or whatever changed in their sim life. Of course. So we're going to give them the opportunity to do that. Once everyone is all booed up or not booed up, depending on how they want to get down, they won. They have been powered fully up and we will move on to a new group of ladies from another series. So um, for the ladies from the Gig Power Press, that's my publishing company's books and the challenge. Um, the goal for me is to help them complete their main aspiration before the next book in the series releases. So do you have to read the books that the ladies come from in order to enjoy the gameplay? Absolutely not. This is not about that. If you all want to know more about why I play The Sims with my book characters, drop a comment below. Let me know. I will be happy to go through all that. But if you don't care, like if you like Shanita, I really don't care. Baby, baby, I'm dead. I just came up in here to give me a little Sim play. Your Sim was cute. I liked her CC. He was fine. I saw them kissing or I saw you being very creative with the editing to make it look like they was about to get it in. Oh, they was getting it in. But you know what I mean then that can be an option too. The point of the matter is, my dears, we are here to play. And I came up with this challenge because I, I have too much emotional connection and attachment to my characters to torture them in the game the way some of the other challenges torture some of the Sims. I love to watch a good Black Widow challenge. I love, I got introduced to and fell in love with the Sims with a 100 baby challenge with a baby. I tried to do it and I just couldn't tell. I was like, ooh, mm, I think it's too much. Maybe Wicked Whims trying to make babies, a hundred of them, is too much. Maybe I'm not that grown, but I'm grown enough. And I just, I fell in love with playing with The Sims with my book characters. It helped me bring them to life and get to know them. And so I was like, hmm, I wonder if I should share this with YouTube and the world. And here we are. We're doing a thing. Um, so that's it. Let's get into meeting these ladies who we're going to be playing with from the Natural Sister series for the first season of the Powered Up Challenge. Shall we? First up, we have Anissa Lynx. Anissa is the leading lady from My Crown and Glory. She and her friends launched a series that's dedicated to hair nanigans, big dreams, and friendship. While she isn't in the spotlight for the entire series, her time in the Gig Power Press world nowhere near over because she is dating to mate and baby call me an author because i have written the love of her life wait till y'all meet him oh pixel thirst so ebony zoe anissa and portia have all been best friends since elementary school and anissa is da is ebony's daughter's godmother and brianna loves her godmother okay You'll see them both here in the Powered Up Challenge Let's Play. Zoe and Portia round out the rest of Anissa's friend circle. They've been through a lot in the book, and by the end of the book, it might have been a few backhands and some hard words thrown. But at the end of the day, these girls love each other and they have each other's back. So yes, all the gang is here for the Gig Power Powered Up Challenge here in The Sims 4, because Anissa is not gonna lose her friends over some little raggedy, dusty man, okay? Period, on period, as all the cool kids say. We have now coming up, Maya. Maya Hatton is, wait a minute, is she Anissa's godmother? <laughs> yes, she is. And Maya and Rodriguez are from I Am Not My Hair, and they have never known a love, 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 like the love they about to explore in The Sims 4, baby. They about to live their whole best life, even though we thrown in a little surprise because Maya didn't know she was going to be a mama, a caregiver, or nothing else before this. But here she is in The Sims doing her thing, being Maya and sharing all the love that she didn't get to express, even though she poured a lot of it into Anissa. Maya's best friend is none other than Anissa's mom, Phyllis Lynx. Phyllis and her hubby have been together a long time. Mr. Mitchell is the 
curmudgeon, um, grumpy old man that everybody loves. Like, you know, don't sit on his porch, don't walk on his grass, but don't mess with any of the kids from the neighborhood because he will come for that. You understand, okay? That's Mr. Lynx. That's Anissa's dad. That is Phyllis's husband and Maya. This whole crew has been living together for a long time. And then you have the final young lady from the Natural Sisters series who will be a leading lady here in this, their part of the LP. And that is Jay Sean. Jay Sean is best friends with Brianna. Remember her? Yeah. They are close friends. They graduate from high school together in Me, My Hair, and I. And they're going to live their best college lives or something close to it <laughs> here in The Sims 4. Jay Sean's book, Me, My Hair, and I, is the final installation to the Natural Sister series. And this entire series was my foray into women's fiction for African-American women. I write black books for black women with black leads. Anybody can read them, but I write them for the culture unapologetically. Please don't come at me in the comments because I probably don't have time and I'm not going to make time for foolery. We're here for a good time. We're here to be together. Kick. You know what I mean? Cool. So that's where we are with Brianna and Jay Sean, and they round out the Natural Sisters series Let's Play characters for this part of the Power Up Challenge. Those are the leading ladies, and next week, come back to meet the women from the Go Pow Her series. It is my current women's fiction series. Um, it's going to be pretty long, so we got a lot of ladies to play this challenge with, should this go well. Hopefully, y'all are enjoying them so far. Um, and then the next week after that, you'll be meeting the WSB Star Crew, which is a subset inside of the Goal Power series. Um, and those women will, you'll see carried throughout the series. So the leading ladies for next week are from the first book. And then the ladies you'll meet the week after that, you're going to see them in every Goal Power book again. You do not have to worry about <laughs> reading the books to enjoy the Sims 4 series. Um, that's just how I, you know, separate them and kind of organize them in my little uh, project management brain. Uh, I will be recording my um, Simself author vlog official updates as well coming soon. I just had to, you know, um, make sure I got this part out. I've been preparing for this series for so long i don't know how many of you are into like um social media and instagram but i saw this quote on christian keys Ooh, um spoiler alert one of my characters look like him he's so fine y'all anyway um one of one of the quotes that i saw him put up said that beyonce trained for eight months for two hours and so that kind of like helped me feel better <laughs> about it taking so long for this series to finally come um but it's here now and i'm super excited and everything is set up so i really hope you guys enjoy vibing with me i hope you're enjoying the giveaways um i can talk to you a little bit more about those as well if you want to know why i do the giveaways on my channel um other than yes i want subscribers yes i would like to be monetized but not necessarily for the reason some people may or may not think. I don't think y'all thinking about any of that. I think y'all just be out here like, woo, a chance to win a little sense pack. Let me get my little chance and try my luck. But if you're curious and you want to know, why are we having these giveaways every month? Um, I will be happy to tell you. Just let that drop that down in the comments or you can drop it in next week's comment. I'm going to make a note to make sure to ask again next week when I introduce you to the ladies from the Goal Power series for the first part, and that's the Making Moves in Metropolis. Ladies, it's four gorgeous boss chicks, and they are literally making moves in Metropolis. That's what they're doing. So this video is long enough now. Um, I hope y'all still rocking with me. If you still rocking with me and you make it to the end of this video, and you drop a comment, hmm, let's see. Let's see. Um, if you drop a comment with the word pumpernickel, <laughs> if you put pumpernickel in the comments at the time that it drops, 
I will give you three extra entries into the April giveaway for 2023, which is the Growing Together and the High School Years pack. Um, just because I feel silly and it's way past the time I should be doing this. And so I'm going to offer something I probably shouldn't be doing, but it's done now. So giveaway me will deal with editor me later. There's really only one me. I'm being silly. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you're one of my readers, thank you so much for reading with me, for rocking with me. Um, and just cannot, I literally cannot wait to get grown with y'all. <laughs> and also share these wonderful women and let them have their sims lives. Disclaimer, while I'm attached to my characters, I do not expect them to be as obedient in the sims as they are in the books and they are not that obedient in the books for the records i've had a few rogue characters just go all off plot but that's another day another story another time thank you so much for watching if you've entered into the giveaway good luck remember there's a giveaway every month for new subscribers and current subscribers um you could have been subscribed for five years you could have been subscribed for five minutes and you might win so you got to play to win and I hope you'll subscribe. If you like the video, if you're intrigued about the challenge, remember to check it out in the description below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. It helps the channel.